Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will look at how we might differentiate functions of y with respect to x. So consider the expression x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 3y equals 4. So as you can see, hindi naka-isolate yung ating y dito sa ating equation. So it would be quite difficult to rearrange this. So y was given explicitly as a function of x. So, a function given in this way is said to be or defined explicitly. So, the derivatives of the implicit functions can be found by the process called implicit differentiation. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 3y equals 4. So, ang step 1 natin dito is we need to differentiate each term with respect to x. Okay, so differentiate x squared. So, applying the power rule, that is 2x plus yung differentiate natin si y squared, that is 2y. Again, applying the uh, power rule. But since a uh, y term yung ating differentiate dito, lalagyan natin siya guys ng y prime. Okay? Then, differentiate negative 2x, that is negative 2, plus 3y, so differentiate natin si 3y, that is positive 3. Then again, this is a y term, so lalagyan natin to guys ng y prime, equals differentiate 4, so that is constant, so the derivative is 0. Okay? So, ang next step natin dito is we need to isolate yung y prime. So, kailangan... Maiwan si y prime dito sa left side ng ating equation. Then that will be now our first derivative. So para magawa yon, i-isolate natin yan by ililipat natin or itatranspose natin yung mga walang y prime. Okay? So we have 2y y prime plus 3y prime. So nilipat natin si 2x so that is negative 2x. Then, si negative 2, nilipat natin sa right side, that is positive 2. Okay? So, para ma-isolate natin si y prime, kung makapansin nyo sa binomial natin, dito sa left side, meron tayong y prime, y prime. So, that will be now our common monomial. Okay? So, para ma matanggal natin yan dyan, if a factor out natin si y prime dito sa ating left side, then, pag na-factor out yan, Ang may iiwan sa loob natin is yung 2y at saka yung ating 3. Okay, so pinactor natin. So that is 2y plus 3. Then equals negative 2x plus 2. So next is pwede na nating i-divide both side of the equation by 2y plus 3. Okay, para ma-cancel out na natin to. So, we have y prime equals negative 2x plus 2 all over 2y plus 3. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung ating first derivative ng ating implicit function. Okay? So, next, let's have example number 2 x cubed minus 3x plus y squared equals 16. So again, ang first step natin dito is i-differentiate natin lahat ng term with respect to x. Okay, so differentiate x cubed, that is 3x squared by using the power rule. Then differentiate natin si negative 3x, that is negative 3. Then differentiate y squared, this is positive 2y. Then again, since um, y term yung ating differentiate, lalagyan natin yan guys ng y prime equals the derivative of 16 which is 0. Okay, so next, isolate natin si y prime. So, kailangan natin ilipat si 3x squared sa right side and negative 3 dun sa right side ng ating equation. So, we have 2y y prime equals negative 3x squared plus 3. 
So, after natin malipat yung 3x squared tsaka yung 3 dun sa right side, pwede na natin i-divide both side of the equation by 2y para ma-cancel out natin to at ma-isolate na natin si y prime. Okay? So, kung mapansin nyo, ang first derivative ng ating implicit function is equal to negative 3x squared plus 3 all over 2y. So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging final answer. Okay? Nasundan ba guys? So, next, let's have example number 3. Y plus the quantity of 2x minus 5 cube equals 3. Okay, so take note, to get the derivative of nung ating naka-quantity, ang gagamitin natin dyan is yung ating chain rule. Okay, so start tayo. Differentiate y, so that is a, that is a variable. So 1 yung lalabas dyan, then since y term yung ating derivative, we have y prime plus differentiate natin si 2x minus 5 cube so by applying the chain rule mumultiply natin yung 3 dito so that's 3 times the quantity of 2x minus 5 then magma minus 1 tayo dito sa ating exponent so magiging square then since chain rule to it's chain natin guys yung derivative ng ating base so, ang derivative ng 2x minus 5 is 3. Then, multiply natin yun dito sa ating uh, quantity. Okay? Then, equals 3. Ah, sorry. Ang derivative ng 3 equals 0. Okay? So, since constant yung ating 3, so, ang derivative niya ay 0. Simplify natin yung ating equation. We have y prime. Then, we have 3 times 3, this is 9, times the quantity of 2x minus 5 square equals 0. Okay? Then, para ma-isolate natin si y prime, ililipat lang natin yung ating um, mga walang y prime. So, we have y prime equals, so, pag transfer natin sa right side yan, magiging negative 9 times the quantity of 2x minus 5 square. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging final answer. Nakuha, guys? So, next, let's have example number 4. x square plus 3x raised to 4, y square plus y square equals negative 4x. Okay, so again, ang first step natin is i-differentiate natin yung both sides ng ating equation. So, pag di-differentiate natin si x squared by applying the uh, power rule that is 2x. Okay? So, next, differentiate natin si 3x raised to 4 times y squared. So, kung makapansin nyo dito guys, meron tayong dalawang variable. Meron tayong x raised to 4, at uh, meron tayong x and meron tayong y. Okay, pagkaganyan ng itsura guys, so lipat muna natin yan dito. We have 3x raised to 4 y square. So kung mapansin nyo dito, may dalawa tayong variable, x and y. So dito, magkakaroon tayo ng u times v. So meaning, para makuha yung derivative nyan, gagamitan natin yan ng product rule. So ang formula natin ng product rule is uv prime plus VU prime. Okay? So, kung tandaan nyo pa yung ating product rule. So, ang U natin dito is yung 3X raised to 4. So, we have U prime which is um, 12X cube. Then, ang V natin dito is Y square. So, ang V prime natin dito is 2Y then, since y yung ating dinifferentiate, lalagyan natin yan ng y prime. Okay? So, kunin na natin yung derivative ni 3x raised to 4 y square by using the product rule. So, u v prime. So, ang u natin dito is 3x raised to 4 times v prime which is 2y y prime plus v u prime or yung v natin which is y square times u prime 
which is 12x cubed. So, simplify natin yung expression. We have 6x raised to 4, y, then y prime, plus 12x cubed times y squared. This is 12x cubed y squared. Okay? So, ito na yung magiging derivative ni 3x raised to 4 y squared. So, dudugtong na natin yan dito. So, we have 6x raised to 4 y y prime plus 12x cubed then y squared. Okay? So, next, differentiate natin si y squared. This is 2y. Then, since y term yan, we have y prime. Okay? Then, equals to, the differentiate negative 4x, this is negative 4. Okay? So, after natin ma-simplify yung ating equation is, i-isolate na natin si y prime. Kung mapansin nyo, may dalawa tayong y prime dito sa left side ng ating equation. So, iiwan natin yan. Then, yung mga walang y prime is ililipat natin sa right side ng ating equation. So, we have 6x raised to 4 y y prime plus 2y y prime equals negative 4. Then, si 2x magiging negative 2x. Then, si 12x cubed y square magiging negative 12x cubed y square. Okay? So, kung ma sa left side naman ng ating equation, kung mapansin nyo, may dalawa tayong y prime, which is yan na yung ating magiging common monomial. So, pag pinactor out natin yan, factor out natin si y prime, so, magiging 6x raised to 4y plus 2y na lang yung ating binomial. Equals to negative 4 minus 2x minus 12x cubed y square. So, para mas ma-isolate na natin yung y prime, i-divide natin ngayon both side of the equation by 6x raised to 4y plus 2y then 6x raised to 4y plus 2y. So, dito makakancel na natin yung binomial. So, ang y prime natin dito is magiging negative 4 minus 2x minus 12x cubed y square all over 6x raised to 4y plus 2y. So, ito na yung ating magiging final answer. Okay? Nakuha ba class? I wait. So, since uh, kung mapapansin nyo, yung ating final answer is yung mga coefficient nila is lahat divisible by 2. So, pwede tayong mag-simplify dyan, no? So, pwede ang final answer natin dito is maging uh, negative 2 minus x minus 6x cubed y square all over 3x raised to 4y plus y. Okay, so dinivide lang natin uh, yung ating numerator and denominator by 2. So, so, yan yung ating simplest form ng ating final answer. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!